Olympic coverage now. We are joined by Candy Rodriguez, who is in Tokyo. And Candy, those COVID-19 numbers are high in Tokyo, and some of those numbers include athletes. What do we know about the cases so far? Yeah, luckily the thing is this number that we just got for yesterday here in Tokyo, that's the latest, 3,058, is actually down 1,000 from the previous day, but that is still a very high number when you're talking about daily COVID-19 cases in Tokyo. Now, when it comes to the Olympic bubble, since July 1st, we have around 260, 18 new cases reported yesterday, one of them being an athlete. We don't know who that athlete is, but I can tell you that you are are seeing those numbers start to come out and again roughly around 20 athletes have tested positive for COVID-19 since they've been here in Japan since July 1st. And you know we just finished watching here in El Paso we are watching that 100 meter hurdle we know that you know America is bringing home a, a silver but we're also reading rooting for uh, Toby Ellison as well so can you tell us how that went? Yeah, we had two women in the race for us there because we had a former minor and then we also had a Team USA athlete with some Texas ties there in Central Texas. We're talking about Kenny Harrison. She is taking home the the silver for Team USA. She finished behind Puerto Rico who is taking home the gold in the 100 meter hurdles. And then Toby Amusan, she is our former minor. She was so close, but she ended up finishing fourth in that race. And of course, Colin will have all those details coming up in sports. Thank you, Candy. And also coming up, the transformation of an old grocery store in West El Paso.